Well, here we are, guys. The season finale for Westworld Season 4. My name is Zach. Thank you so much for joining me this week. As you guys, if you haven't, if this is your first time, then well, what a great episode to start on. And if not, if you've been joining me week to week on this entire season recap reviews that we've been doing every Sunday, thank you so much. I cannot believe we are here. I cannot believe the season is over. And I'm definitively ready to say that this is the best season yet. Um, and I know last week I said, hey, like this feels that they could be leading up to like the actual series finale, you know, for some reason this does not get another season. And a lot of you guys let me know, well, the creator said that they planned season five and Ed Harris and this and this and that. I'm with you. We need another season, at least one more, specifically in the way that this entire episode ended, but we're going to get all to that very soon. Again, this is a full spoiler review, so thank you so much for watching this. If you haven't seen the full episode yet, definitely go watch that, then come back, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, because we will start covering House of Dragons next week, another great HBO show that many people are looking forward to, and I know certainly I am looking forward to reviewing and recapping that, so make sure to look forward to those reviews starting next Sunday, as well as watch-alongs over on my Patreon. On. That is going to be a fun time for sure. So let's dive into this episode. Overall, I think this was an excellent finale, one that was emotionally gratifying, specifically in the way that we said a lot of goodbyes to a lot of different characters. Now, in the typical fashion of Westworld, when a character dies, it does not mean they are dead forever. But I will go as far to say that it feels that if this show gets another season, since it is not confirmed yet, and HBO and Warner Brothers are going through a bunch of different things, so this show could get canceled. If the show gets another season, it feels that it's very much a reset. Going back to the very first season, continuing the loop that we had all started and restarting everything of where sentient life is. And it's really fascinating to see because there's still a lot of different pieces that I'm going to have to rewatch and kind of get my thoughts around and be like, okay, what does this mean? What does that mean? Where could this possibly go? And that's what's going to be very fascinating, to say the least. But what I will also give props to is that this season was so layered out in such a fascinating way. Dolores, in the whole heart of this entire show, has always been the soul of it all. From season one all the way to season four. And I know a lot of people have been wondering, well, what is her purpose this season? And in the same way, shape, and form, the easiest way to explain it, she was the key to all of this. She was the key... The one part of it all that Bernard did not put together was her and the man in black. And even though he knew if for some reason he were to die, he still left an alternate plan to give to Charlotte Hale. And this was a risky episode. I mean, for a majority of it, there's literally characters that died last week. So no Maeve whatsoever. My favorite character in the entire show. Well, one of them. Bernard literally just has one sequence. It's really Charlotte Hale, Dolores, Teddy, Caleb and his daughter, a little bit of Stubbs and Clementine, and the Man in Black. Like, that's it. Bernard and Maeve, two of your biggest characters, are not even in this episode. Specifically Maeve. And Bernard, I don't really count, even though he had that one important moment. This is a showdown that goes down between Charlotte Hale and the Man in Black. And it's all about a, res a rescue mission as well. So... There's all these elements that lead into this. And I do want to start, when we look and talk about the actual plot points, I want to start out with the great intro to this episode of those two characters trying to survive and, you know, shit's just going wild. And then the, the camper thing. And we see the man in black is on a mission. And we know that that mission is going to end up leading him to probably his death. And for me, Charlotte Hale is another character who, of course, gets saved. She's brought back to life. They go full-on Terminator with her. T-1-800, like, T-800, like, th this girl, Charlotte Hale, Tessa Thompson, absolutely killed her this entire season. But she goes full Terminator, and that was awesome. You know, she starts going on her route. You know, she gets the message from Bernard, and she goes from here to there. And we find out where Dolores is this entire time. She was in the ground. She's been keeping her in the sublime of all that nature, and she breaks it down, and she grabs her. And it, again, becomes the key to all of this. And I love that direction of how we see all of that. Then you go to her having that confrontation with Clementine and seeing the man in black, William, actually dead. 
But where does that go? And how does Clementine tie into this all? And then we see Clementine actually hunting down Stubbs and Caleb and Cookie. And I like that word, Cookie. It's just, it's just sweet. But his daughter, and when he's trying to patch her up, you know, Stubbs realizes, like, on the street, like, dude, you are, you're not going to make it. And that's where Caleb even knows that, too. But one of the most beautiful moments in this, you know, and, you know, rest his peace, Stubbs. I, I really thought he was going to make it, but I think this is it for Stubbs. I know we've been saying this like every season when he dies, but this feels pretty definitive, specifically a lot of the character deaths in here and mostly his. But, you know, he gave his life. He knew what the mission was and he gave it. And for me, that was a very important part to the entire story. But the most important part was when Caleb gets his daughter to safety. And he says goodbye. And one of the most beautiful things, and again, Aaron Paul does such an amazing job in this performance, telling her goodbye and saying, I can't come with you. This is the end of the road for me. Your dad died a long time ago. And what's left of me is just a little bit of him. But at least I can say something that not a lot of parents get to say. And that is, at least I got to see my daughter grow up. And that moment right there completely destroyed me. And I'm trying to hold back my tears right now, but I was I was in tears watching that moment because it was so beautifully poetic. And it feels poetically done for this character. Like this character, from when we met him last season to this season, it feels like a beautiful wrapped up story arc that I, I do, if we never saw Caleb again, I, I'm okay with that. There, there's elements of the story where there's ways that they could bring back everyone into this thing that Dolores is, you know, the key to all. And at the very end of the, we see Westworld all brought back to life. But who do you bring back? What do you bring back? Why do you bring them back? Th those are the questions that, you know, Nolan and Lisa Joy are definitely going to have to give us to kind of ponder and all sorts of things like that. So th those are things that we're going to touch on. And again, that's if they get another season. If they don't, I actually don't hate this as like kind of the entire finale. And so let's get to that. And, you know... A lot of this was Dolores and Teddy having a great conversation. And again, there's an emotional arc there seeing that Dolores brought Teddy back and what Ariana DeBose's character was supposed to be there for and why Dolores created it and why Dolores created all this. And of course, she makes the choice that Maeve, or Maeve, that Charlotte Hale provides to her to do. And for me, it's a, in a way, it just resembled something of a reset to this entire world. And that's the way that at least I interpreted it. This entire test that they've all been going about in, that sentient life, that no matter what, it will somehow survive out there. But this is the way. This is the way that maybe we will let ourselves free this time. And that's where I go as far to say that, like, it's kind of beautifully poetic because it is, again, a whole cycle that maybe this time things will be different. And I just love that. Like, I love the cycle. And again, if the show ended, if you told me tomorrow that this is it, they, there's no other seasons, I'd be a little bit disappointed that we didn't get at least one more season. But at the same point, I feel okay. Like, this weight has been lifted off and it's just like, it's a ballsy ending because it is, in a way, a cliffhanger. But it's one that kind of just fits for Westworld itself. But I'm not saying that I definitely don't want another season. Like, I, I need another season. I need one more season to tie up everything and that ending was beautiful I, I i really think that this episode was beautiful and i think that this is hands down the best westworld season yet which i'll be actually ranking all the westworld uh episodes or all the episodes all the seasons later on so look forward to that but definitely like right now this is teeter-tottering on my number one um i'm gonna kind of do a little bit more research go back a little bit but this is my favorite season so far just as a reaction coming out of this and this is overall like my thoughts um, I know it's a very much a ramble. This is how I talk about TV is just rambling off my thoughts and everything that kind of goes about and how fantastic this season was. Um, I think this was a near perfect season, one that really brought everything together and tied it all together and in not that too confusing way, but also made you really emotional for the characters that you have truly come to care about over the last four seasons. And I think this is just goes as far to show why Westworld, if you dropped off, you are definitely missing out. So Overall, I am going to give all of Westworld Season 4 an A. I think besides a couple slow points here and there, this was a near-perfect season. Just as great as the original season, if not better. And I'm, and I'm kind of leaning on that. It is a little bit better. But uh, 
yeah, what a fantastic season. And the performances in here are probably top tier. I love this season. I'm fingers crossing that we at least get one more season of Westworld. But uh, yeah, I love this. I can't wait to read your guys' thoughts. Make sure to leave your comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy.